I think that boards have to provide oversight. As a board member, I'm not at the company every single day. I come five times a year, or I'm on the phone with different members of management based upon the committee work that I do for the board. But I have to entrust the leadership to really have that stewardship every single day. So the best thing that I can do is try to manage it through the right kind of statistics that I see from the company, the right kind of behaviors I see from management, and to reinforce what I've seen in other companies as best practices to bring to the leadership and have them continuously improve their game as well. There are many risks, but the most important thing is that they don't hide anything. So that is one most important thing is that the CEO, the senior management, always open the door, listen to the voice. Sometimes that CEO doesn't want to hear the negative information, but I think that they open the door to be able to anyone come in to give some warnings early stage is very important. The landscape of risk is just changing so fast uh, that one uh, area that I think boards should really be looking at is how often they reassess risk and how often they prioritize risk. Uh, because we can all add up uh, the risks in the environment and, and uh, be too concerned about risk to be able to even thrive in an environment. But I think if you prioritize uh, which risks are uh, short term, which risks are long term, and you do it on a regular, sustained basis, I think you can get your arms around uh, where the potholes are and where the opportunities are. I think boards should really focus on making every single person count. And it may seem far away from the risk management culture, but actually each single individual contributes to the end result. And any end result, like any chain, is only as good as its weakest link. So if everybody does their large, medium or small task, in a very careful and ethical way, the outcome is going to be better. Many of the uh, older company or larger company, they have board members who are not equipped with understanding new waves. And in fact, I think that they should recompose the board. That's very important. Well, I think the enterprise risk system belongs at the entire board level. So um, I think most common you might see the audit committee is actually setting up the procedures and policies for identifying risks at the enterprise level, and then I believe the full board uh, should own them. With that, I think it needs to be set up on a uh, systematic way that you are looking at them on a quarterly basis, or you're looking at them, considering them consistently, but to have the board uh, review them to make sure that we're looking at the right ones and how they could impact us. And I think there are great systems out there and it's how do you refresh it and how do you take it seriously and put it to the top of the agenda uh, on a regular basis.